everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma aka Fleurs and today we're going to be working on the second part of my kind of beach hutty. Well they're all kind of wooden houses so this is the neighbourhood and this is what we've done so far. So we worked on Daisy's house in my previous video. If you haven't already seen it go check it out and we also worked on Tammy's house up in the sand dunes. Technically it's not part of the neighbourhood but I wanted to include it as part of this speed build. The, ha the trees did grow in guys so you do need to stunt them with a piece of fruit so I will definitely have to sort that out later. Um, but this is Pippi's house, this is the house that I'm going to work on first and then we've got Igly over here and then over to the left, yep yeah, that's Igly's house <laughs> and then over to the left here we have Punchy who is a super cute cat. As you can see, the, the houses all kind of have the same wooded, wooded slats and wooded doors. I really, really like that look for this theme. So let's get started over here at Pippi's house. And I'm gonna go in, use that same fence that I did for Daisy's house, which is the stone fence. Really, really like this still. And I made a bit of a boo-boo. There is a bush there, so I couldn't place down the fence horizontally so we just fixed that up. I kind of have come up with each villager that we're working on today they all kind of have their own little backstory so for Pippi I'm wanting her to be kind of the bookworm of the island so for Pippi I'm gonna give her a little library somewhere to sit down and enjoy her books. As with Daisy's house, I used these white wooden planks to lead up to the house. So I'm going to repeat that. Nope, don't want the rescue service. I don't know how I always end up clicking the rescue service. And I nearly mastered the putting the custom designs down. Nearly, so close. Are you guys proud of me? Um, so we went with that cute doily under the door. And I'm going to put in a picnic blanket here. For the check or the pattern of the picnic blanket, I've gone with this blue gingham. I thought that it was quite close to matching the roof, so that's why I went with that. And then for the kind of library area, I'm going in with the wooden boardwalk kind of design. The planks, I really like this because it's kind of raised up. And I thought that the variation on the designs on the floor was a nice touch, just to keep it a bit interesting. And what would a library area be complete without some bookshelves? So in the bookshelves go. For this area, I'm gonna do something a bit different. I'm gonna use some rattan furniture. I don't tend to use it. I did it in my stream last time with the bedroom. And that was kind of the first time that I've done it in a proper build. So I'm kind of excited to see how it looks outside. I've used the antique bureau as a little writing desk and some scattered papers just because um, when you're writing I'm sure you end up with lots of mess all around you. I thought I'd add another little boardwalk piece there or plank piece there just to connect out onto the beach so it's a little walkway, a really really small walkway but it's a walkway nonetheless. And then some books, a little tea cozy. I thought this was a good chance to use that variation on it, really cute. Some more books, <laughs> all the books that you can find. Oh, trying to get the ribbon sandals placed on the blanket there, there we go. rattan furniture actually works quite well in this area so I'm quite happy with it as I said never really used it before so it's interesting to see how it has kind of taken shape not quite happy with the flowers here the trees kind of block them out a bit And then over on the right hand side, I'm just going to go in with some flowers, some bushes. I put the mum cushion down just to break it up so it's something a bit different as opposed to the in-game flowers. 
it's quite a small space over on the right hand side here so there wasn't a lot that we could do. I decided to use a barrel and a log stool just as like a house storage area and obviously to get those barrels in and a shell lamp to keep with the nautical theme. pretty much it what can we put here oh yeah I have this beach ball yeah so that's Pippi Pippi's house pretty much done now just final touches messing with the flowers here didn't mean to put that transparent custom design there just again I said in a previous video just trying to stop the spread of the flowers too much I'm not going to work on the main pathways like as you can see here it's just the plain light dirt path I'm going to do that off video just because I can't imagine that it's very exciting for you to watch so next up we're on to Igli's house I was going to say punchies it's Igli's and again we're repeating the process of putting down the stone fence now this area is a bit different to the last one because at some point I am going to create a waterfall here to feed into what I'm calling the estuary as this leads down to the river mouth which connects to obviously my beach. So I'm going to have to do some terraforming there, try and make it look pretty but this is kind of generally how the river is probably going to be so I don't mind decorating it for now and then if I have to make some minor changes later then that's okay. For Igli's house I'm going to give him a doormat as well because I'm just obsessed with doing that at the moment. So for his I've gone in with a really really thin little blanket. I'm using the same design that I used for Pippi's blanket which is that nice check colour because it matches beautifully with his house. And I haven't explained what theme I'm giving Igli. So given that he's a penguin and penguins like fish. I'm going to make him the fisherman of the island so that's why I put the little rock pool design down but I thought it could also double up as a pond for his area. Really important when you use your custom designs you can just use it for one area but try and utilize them as much as you can because there's no way that I was going to be able to get another custom design in for a pond but I thought it worked quite well still. So this area I'm just going to have it as like a little fish display area or a storage area. So I'm going to display down a mixture of the models and the fish in the tanks. And obviously a couple barrels and then I think we'll go in with the soft shell turtle because it's got a lovely blue container. Spot of decorating just around this little pond. And then I'm going to put a net in it as well. You can custom design the nets, but I quite like the red colour on the tools just because it added a bit of contrast between the blue and it also matched quite well with the vampire squid. So that's why I left it in that red colour. If you're wondering you probably weren't but <laughs> there it is if you were oh no I've put the trees in the wrong way so I did want the smaller tree out front um, just to kind of stunt it a bit so I'm just gonna grab a coconut and just switch that out there we go and then I wasn't sure about whether I actually wanted it right here mm. because it's in line with the larger tree it didn't look quite right so I moved it back here which I know just block off the house a little bit but I quite like that it makes it feel a bit cozier and some little boots on top of his little doormat which was I thought was a really nice touch we have a different kind of barrel for this area. We have an oil barrel in the blue colour, which still counts, right? Still, yeah. A 
And then over here, I'm gonna make this into Igley's little fishing spot by the river. As you can see, I put down the rowboat design, which in my head is gonna act as Igley's kind of fishing boat. I know it isn't quite a trawler, but it definitely could do the job. How cute would he look sitting in the back of that, just fishing away? I said in the other video, in another video, but I found a new found, I've got a new found love for the lawn chairs. I really, really like them. And I think they make the perfect kind of fishing chair. I've had this design for a while, this tiny little blanket, and I've never really had the opportunity to use it. So I'm totally embracing that and putting it down here. and getting myself stuck. <laughs> and a fishing rod, what fishing spot would be, be complete without one? There we go. That is Igly's little fishing spot complete. Time to just add a few little finishing touches to the area. is some flowers I did have some seaweed in my inventory so I'm just gonna scatter that around as well just for fun the idea that he's brought it back off of some of his fishing trips <laughs> and then as I said some flowers and wow the rain is finally starting to stop we have a nice Sun and I probably should have checked there was maybe there was a rainbow oh not quite because it's quite cloudy. As I said, these little bits that you can see here, I'll probably work on them off video and try and make them really nice. I have done some areas along the pathways and I do need to overlay my custom designs as well. So we're onto the final house. This is Punchy's house. Again, sorry if this is getting repetitive. Time to put our fencing down. I always find it really hard to figure out where it, it it's supposed to be against the villager's house. Because the line always just looks a tiny bit off. Punchy's very lucky, he's right up against the beach. And for him, I'm gonna give him like surfer vibes, quite like chilled kind of area. Very much a lad. <laughs> if you don't know what that means. And, I don't know it's just kind of like a guy I don't know am I saying this wrong I don't know how to describe it um but yeah a surfer dude that's what I'm looking for he is a surfer dude am I showing my age by using the word dude maybe do people use that word anymore I don't know anyway get back to the build Emma um, here is the white deck again for this area I'm just kind of gonna use his surfboards kind of swimming stuff that's what I'm gonna put over there and then maybe we'll use like a hammock a little barbecue area as well over on the right try and fit as much in as we can in these tiny little yards I've gone with the same idea as I did for Igley's house just a small little doormat but this time I'm using the polka dot one which I think really complements the roof on Punchy's house thought the monstera plants fitted really well for the theme that I was going for with the log bench as well just somewhere to put some items on top I found a random signpost so I decided to pop it down here just to signify that there's another house there and just add something a bit different to the path area. Okay, 
Okay, so I have some surfboards. I've gone with the striped blue one and the plain white one. Just trying to decide what to put up on here. Thought these two items kind of fitted because of the blue and the white. But I decided that the life ring was a great item that you can just kind of lay on the floor. So I switched it out for the towel basket, went in with the beach ball and some watery themed shoes as well, just to finish off the area. And then over here, I'm gonna, I did think about using the white boardwalk again but again I like some variation so I'm going to use the gravel design that I used over at Igley's house. I like to put them on top of the in-game path so you don't get those harsh lines, the harsh straight lines. I think that they just look a bit better, they merge better into the normal grass. Just extended out the area just so that I could use the ironwood low table and it not look out of place. I wasn't sure what to put up on here so first of all we went with the pie and I thought that the record player fitted quite well with the vibes that I'm trying to achieve. I did want to try and fit in Aloha KK somehow but I didn't quite have enough room. Just trying to figure out how to get the hammock best place. I did decide where I wanted it but I needed to fill in what was behind so I put another monstera down, some flowers, there we go. And I put it in the same custom design to match the doorstop. And there's Punchy's cup of coffee or cup of tea for the morning. just looks too bold so in the end I just left the portable record player by itself and the pie back again instead of trying to fit in the album cover I do love some of the album covers they're really cute I'm just gonna add a tree here just pop this down it was too close to another rose, that was a problem. Okay, so I think we're pretty much done. This is Pippi's house. This was the first one that we worked on. As I said, for the theme for Pippi's yard was kind of the resident reading worm, loves her books. So that was a great fit for her. And then this is Igley's house. He is our resident fisherman. He's got his own fishing spot. He's got his own pond his own little boat and obviously a display storage area over there in the back and then over to the left we have Punchy who is our kind of surfer dude relax very chill lots of blues likes his food so we've got a barbecue there I really think it's easier when you have kind of an idea in your head as to what that villager likes so if you're creating a neighborhood or working on your villager yards definitely think of a backstory I think it really really helps when you're designing as to what you're gonna put there and what items you need so that's a, a little tip from me so I hope you enjoyed the build guys let me know which one was your favorite did you like Pippi's kind of bookworm cozy area or maybe you're more of like an industrial fisherman or maybe you're just a relaxed guy who likes to enjoy a hot dog on the barbecue. Or a girl, you don't have to be a guy just to enjoy a hot dog. I'm not insinuating anything, don't worry. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like it and subscribe if you're not already. Hopefully we'll see you again with another video soon. Have a wonderful day, bye bye.